Okay, here we go again. Another video testing electrical wire connectors. In a previous video, I performed resistance and heating tests on a wire nut. The lever nuts that you see right here is a 221 by Wago and a 222. Over here, I also tested the Ideal Ensure. It's a push-in electrical connector. The testing let us know which one of these connectors, along with the wire nut, gave us the lowest level of resistance across the connector and the least amount of heating. I also gave you my opinion as to which one of these, including the wire nut, had the most secure connection. Several viewers after watching that video requested that I did a pullout test on each one of these connectors to see how much force is required to pull the wire out of the connectors. Now normally you're not supposed to be putting any pressure on the wires from these connectors. You simply plug them in, lock them down, push them into the electrical box, and that is it. But a pullout test is useful because it's going to give us an idea of how much clamping force is being applied to the conductors inside each one of the connectors. Now I also found this connector here at Home Depot, so I'm going to be adding that into the test. It's called Contractor's Choice, and we're also going to test the Wago 773 because I had a box of those on hand. To perform the test, I'm going to be using two brand new connectors for each type that you see right here. The reason why I'm using two different connectors is because one test is going to be for stranded copper wire and the other for solid. They all have a limit, I believe, of 12 gauge. So for the test, we're going to be using 14 gauge wire. I wanted to keep it just a little bit lower than the high end to get an idea of how well it will also do for smaller conductors. The majority of you are not going to be going below 14 gauge because that's the wire size if you're going to be connecting to a 15 amp breaker. Right here are the testing wires. All this wire is brand new. They're solid and stranded. I have 12 millimeters or roughly a half of an inch of the insulation stripped from each one of the wires. And over here you can see the conductors are twisted together and soldered. The purpose of that is to give me plenty of strength when I go to pull each one of these wires out of the connector. Here you can see the testing jig that I'll be using. In order to secure the connectors, I have four different straps. The connector goes inside, you push it all the way in, makes contact with this very small common nail, and the nail is gonna be directly in the center between the two holes. So I'm gonna insert the wire on one side, all the way in till it locks. The connector is gonna rest right against the nail. The steel cable goes all the way around the back to a screw and it prevents this nail from bending forward when I use this long rod and this portable electronic scale. This is going to be hooked on the electrical wire. This is going to go in the hull, and then I'm gonna use leverage to put pressure on each one of the wires until they break free. We'll be able to see how much force was applied looking at the LCD screen. Let's get started with the first one. This one here is the contractor's choice and you can see the wire is stripped. I'm gonna insert that all the way in. Okay, here we go. And that was a good amount of pressure. Now let's repeat the test using a solid conductor. Wow. Whoa, that was some serious, serious holding power. And you can see right here the damage that was done to the solid wire using contractor's choice. Now onto the ideal connector. Once again, we're gonna be testing stranded wire first. Let's take a look at the wire. Now we're going to be testing a solid conductor using the ideal push-in. That was some serious power on that one. I have to put a new nail in here. And believe it or not, that wire is still in there. So it'll exceed 85 pounds using a solid copper wire. Way stronger than using stranded with these connectors. This is all back together now with a heavier nail. I got a Wago 221 with a stranded wire.
21 it looked like. We'll have to take a look at the camera. Right here's a look at the stranded wire that was pulled from the Wego 221 connector. Now the Wego 221 using a solid copper wire. Very similar to the stranded copper. Here's a look at the solid copper wire that was pulled from the Wego 221 connector. Now the 222 lever nut by Wego using stranded copper wire. Hmm. Here's a look at the Wego 222 stranded copper wire that was pulled from the connector. You can see not too much damage was done. Now the 222 lever nut using solid copper wire. Okay. Right here's a close look at the 222 solid copper wire. Now we're going to be testing the lower port of the Wego 773 stranded wire. And looking at the stranded wire that was pulled from the 773 connector, you can see many of the individual strands were sheared off. For the last test, the Wago 773 with a solid copper wire. You can see the solid copper wire has a big gouge in it from the 773 Wago. For the best overall performance for solid and stranded wire, we have Contractor's Choice. In second place, we have the Wago 773 connector. Solid performing extremely well, very similar to the Contractor's Choice. And stranded coming in just a little bit lower than Contractor's Choice. In third place is the Ideal Push-In Connector. Now even though it exceeded all the other connectors for solid wire, the performance for Stranded was below Contractor's Choice and the Wago 773. In fourth place we have the Wago 221 and you can see the pullout force for Solid and Stranded is very similar and much lower than the push-in type. And in last place is the Wago 222. Solid outperforming Stranded by a little bit but still below the 221. The results show that the push-in type connectors have superior holding strength. If you're not looking for a very high level of clamping strength, but you want to have a connector that's very easy to install the wires and remove the wires, then the Wagos are the way to go. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.